The playoffs begin here at MetLife Stadium. The divisional round brings us round three between the 8-9 Dallas Cowboys and our 16-1 Giants. The Cowboys last week won 26-23 in the wild card game. The Niners did not score a touchdown on offense. The defense was incredible for the Giants. Second straight year as the one seed. Last year they lost in the Super Bowl against the Baltimore Ravens. Today they look to go the whole distance and will start against their division rivals. Welcome back to the Madden 23 franchise. As always, if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share on this great Wednesday afternoon as round three between the Cowboys and Giants. Uh, Giants swept them in the regular season and look, well, to make it three straight, which is really hard to do. You know, for the Giants, Terry McLaurin was the superstar. Tied the NFL record 25 touchdowns in the regular season. Cooper Cup did it in 2022. He was an incredible postseason player last year. And for the Cowboys, Dalton Schultz had a career high over 1,000 yards in the regular season. He went 5 for 47 in the win against San Francisco. We'll see if the Cowboys try to get him more involved. As the Giants defense, which has been very... Uh, lackluster in the second half to say the least will face off against this Dallas offense which could really start going especially with their kicks we'll see the Dallas offense first Sly will tee it up the Giants with the toss and have deferred as under the lights this is the last game this is for the right to play Minnesota in the conference championship and we are underway let's do it as Kerry is gonna take a knee in the end zone and Dak Prescott in the wild card rounds at a season high 402 yards that week five total was against our Giants. He did have two interceptions, however. Here's the offense for the Cowboys. 11th and passing is their lowest mark. Top 10 rushing, top 10 scoring. And the rushing starts with Zeke Elliott, who leads the NFL in broken tackles. We saw Scotty Thompson, the rookie center. Charlie Heck, they brought in at left tackle. And the tenured uh, Cowboys, Tyler Smith and Zach Martin, along with uh, Michael Gallup. Devontae Parker starts at wide receiver. He's in the slot in the first play as Zeke gets the carry. Breaks two tackles as he's done all year and picks up six. The Giants defense, you can see the passing yards. They gave up almost 500 to Justin Herbert in week 18 in that well game where they played backups for the, uh, the fourth quarter. But Herbert was passing for a lot of yards regardless. As you see the defense on second and four, Blitz is sent on the outside. Broken up by Jackson, intended for Parker. Third down, the Cowboys, interestingly enough, as good as their offense has been, Bottom three, 38% conversion rate on third down. On the outside, it's caught for the first down. And there's their most reliable receiver, Michael Gallup. He goes for 14. First down near midfield. Prescott empty. And he will throw. He is pressured. Flag is down. It's caught for a gain of about five. That is Schultz. We talked about how he's been important to the offense. But Jermaine Effetti got gets the penalty. It's third and 18. Need the 45 of New York to convert. Opening drive, four-man rush. Prescott rushed, and he's going to be dropped. Thibodeau gets there. 25 sacks in the regular season. He had 29 in his last two years combined. He gets number one in the playoffs, and Walker will punt the opening drive. Leon Boss has one career punt return touchdown. We'll take it to the 32, and here is Jonathan against the Cowboys this year. 540-70 touch, uh, yards, six touchdowns, two picks, and another 394 on the ground and two scores. And this offense has been incredible, top 10 in everything. Uh, best in rushing, best in scoring. Saquon Barkley has had a down year by his standards, but still rushed for a ton of yards, only 17 touchdowns. Jonathan has really picked up the load there. And, of course, Terry McLaurin has been great. No one else even compares to the year Terry McLaurin has. He, it really has been an MVP-like performance if Jonathan wasn't the quarterback of this team. Over the middle, and there he is, McLaurin. And for 14, he goes. The Dallas defense gives up a lot of rushing yards, but really good against everything else. Steve Lehman has stepped up the past couple weeks. He had a pick six in the Week 18 game. He has been really good. The secondary missed Trayvon Diggs, and Lehman has really stepped in there. They also drafted Bob Lambert. His Barkley gets the carry. Osa makes the stop again at two. Second and eight. And Jonathan will throw. On the outside to Downing. It's jumped and picks. Lehman gets away from Neal. And Steve Lehman has another pick six for the Cowboys. And they strike first here in the first quarter. Yeah, the other touchdown was against week 18. We said that about a minute ago. 
And with this kick by a lot, Steve Lehman makes it 7 0 over the uh, Giants. So the Cowboys strike first, the Giants now in a hole. They haven't found themselves in many holes this year. Second down and 10 as they take over. Pressure and a bullet to Barkley. He has seven. So it's third down and three. The Giants on third down, best in football. Two percentage points better than Jacksonville. Jonathan is sandwiched. That was Parsons and Lawrence, and they will punt. So the Cowboys take over at the 31 on a second and 10. Blitz is sent on the outside's caught. There is Schultz, another catch for him. Second grab of the day, third and three. Cowboys need the 41 to convert. Four man rush. And on the outside, it is dropped by Parker. So the Giants take over at the 27. 908 to go, first quarter. And the keeper for Jonathan. And breaks a tackle. A <laughs> tackle by Osa at the 36. Third and inches. Here at the 37. And taking the play clock down to eight. And another keeper. Jonathan trying to get the edge and does. Look at him go across midfield, out of bounds there. So another big run for Jonathan, second down and six. Trying to get down the scoreboard here in the first quarter. Give it to Barkley on the outside. Look at him get the edge. Barkley over the top, out of bounds at the 37. So a slow start for Barkley, first down. As the Giants start to really piece together a drive, a keeper for Jonathan on the outside. Trying to lose grounds. He actually doesn't get the forward progress as he yards shorts. Second and inches. Bake it. Jonathan steps back. Throws upstairs for Bellinger inside the 10. Make it first and goal after the gain of 20. Giants in the red zone. You saw the struggles all year. They really picked it up in the second half. First and goal from the 7. They give to Barkley up the middle. Barkley drags Oceanodia in for the touchdown. And the Giants even the score. 17 in the regular season. That is lowest of the series. With this kick by Sly, Barkley with the seven yard score evens the score at seven. After an eight play drive. Giants take over at the 25, first down and 10. Empty set for Prescott. And he will throw. Quick pass to Schultz. He's been heavily involved early on. He picks up about seven. So it's second and three. Giants shift around and Prescott will throw again. And it's caught again by Schultz. And he is finding his way open very early and often here in the first quarter. First down, empty set. Prescott, quick throw. That's the backup tight end. That is A.J. Henry. And Henry, another first. So the Cowboys making it look easy early on. First down and 10 from around midfield. Prescott will throw underneath. That is Elliott's. Breaks one and picks up about eight. We'll take a look at Prescott's first 10. He's hit four in a row, and you can see the involvement of Schultz. Three catches already, and only two passes of the six completions are for over 10 yards. That was number two and number nine. Second down and two at the 44, and a pick, and chase. And that ball's out! It is bobbled by Williams and picked up by Tyler Smith. Thibodeau forces his third fumble of the year. And it's third and 10. That was a loss of eight. Need the 42 to convert of New York. Four man rush. And Prescott has time. Deep shot. Oh, we got demolished. Incomplete. Michael Callum. That was a hospital pass as the Giants take over at the 11. And Jonathan will throw. Quick pass is caught by Ridley, turns the corner, has a first down to the 23, a gain at 12. Second down and five. Final minute of the first quarter, as Jonathan will throw over the middle, deep downfield. He's got Ridley into the Cowboys territory. So we've reached the second quarter, second and 12. Giants have the ball, tie game. Jonathan deep drop, he is hit. Wide open is McLaurin, he's got it, it gets away for the touchdown. 51 yards. He has a touchdown in four straight playoff games. And the Giants take the lead. On the first play of the second quarter, 51 yards to Terry McLaurin. And a five play 91 yard drive. And the Giants take the lead. Cowboys take over at the 25 yard line and they go to Zeke. 
up the middle and fights for 10. So Mike him a bit short, it's third and one. I formation, back to Zeke, he is denied by Lawrence and it's a three and out. So the Giants get the ball back, third and four. Five man rush, pressured by Osa, that's at the feet of McLaurin and completes. So the Cowboys take back over at the 28. So defense is really heavily involved early on. Fake it to Zeke. Pressure over the middle. It is caught in the Cowboys' territory. And there goes Baskerville inside the 20. Boss giving chase. He tackles him at the 1. Big play for Amari Baskerville, the second-year receiver. And it's first and goal. Cowboys in the red zone have been really bad. They'll be at the 1-yard line. Goal line set, they go to Zeke. He is met in the backfield, breaks off one and fights back to the line of scrimmage. Might be a huge play. The Giants, best red zone team. They jumped the Commanders after the last week. Give straight up the middle. That is Zeke. He is denied again. And it's third and goal. They're at the one. And they make an incredible goal line stand. Prescott through the air. And he has a man wide open. Touchdown, Amari Baskerville. He had a career high of six touchdowns in the regular season. And for the second year receiver, it's his first career touchdown in the playoffs. Here's Will Lutz. To tie the game at 14, it's up and good. Will Lutz has been one of the best kickers in football, but we haven't had seen him uh, yet. Not an extra point. That's a touchback. We'll take a look at Jonathan's first 10. That incompletion of Terry snapped a four straight completion streak. 126 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Of course, as always, five of the six have been for 10 or more, three of them for 20 or more. First down of the 25. Over the middle, it's caught McLaurin, making it another for 20 plus, and a first down to the 47. So Terry McLaurin has been a huge part of this playoff game, as he seemingly always has. He's at 87 yards on three catches. Jonathan trying to get the edge, he is tackled by Parker at the 46. Second down and three. In Cowboys territory. Deep drop, deep throw, he's got him again! Touchdown, York! McLaurin, his seventh game with two scores. And the Giants take the lead again, 46 yards. Playoff, Terry is back and better than over. And the kick is up and good. 21-14, another quick drive for the Giants. Cowboys take over the 25, first down and 10. They send the blitz. Unblocked is Tim, and oh, he brings him down. In his third sack of the half. His third three-sack game. One of them was, of course, against the Giants. The other against the Commanders. I meant the Cowboys. Third and 21, four-man rush. Pressure by Tim, and oh, he got him again. And it's thrown away and completes. Thibodeau having a massive impact. First down and 10. Halfway into the second quarter. Play action. On the run. Jonathan across his body. He's got Ridley. Down to the 26. What a half. After the pick six to start it, he's been on fire. Back to the 26 and a keeper. Inside the 20. Jonathan to the 15. That ball is out, but out of bounds at the 15. A gain of 11. Cowboys in the red zone, seventh in the NFL. 45% touchdown rate, a keeper for Jonathan. Gets the edge inside the five. He shoved Lehman to the turf. Touchdown, New York. He had 15 in the regular season, and he tells Lehman you're going to pick six off him. Uh, taste the turf as that is 28 to 14 lead. Another three play drive. Cowboys take over the 25, now down 14. As Prescott hit over the middle, intercepted. Picked up by Kendricks. And the Giants get it back again. For one interception in the regular season. His previous nine years were in Minnesota. This was his first with New York. First down at the 26. And a keeper for Jonathan. And Van Der Esch ran it beautifully. That's a loss of five. So it's second and 15. Here in the second quarter at the 30. Deep drop. 
Over the middle, he's got McLaurin in traffic inside the 15 and another first. He needed 15, he got 15. Third down and nine. Get a first at the five. Blitz is sent, unblocked defender. End zone to McLaurin! Touchdown playoff, Terry! Third of the day! And it's the third of the half. One of his three touchdowns games was against the Cowboys. It was weeks five and 10. And the Cowboys are now down 35-14 in the first half. What a half for the Giants. 28 points second quarter as it stands. Third down and six. And four man rush. Pressure, Prescott hit by Ojolari. It's almost picked by Jackson. Boss was also there, it's another punt. Giants take over 350 to play in the first half. And another fake, Jonathan a deep drop. Drifting left, and a wide open McLaurin turns it up field inside the 35 and now to the 32 of Dallas. Second down and nine. And Jonathan makes a check at the line, perhaps the final play before the two. Blitz is picked up for the moment and he's dropped by Lambert. He had nine and a half in his rookie season, the second round pick. Makes a third and 14 as we reach the two minute warning. Giants are gonna run the ball. They steal the Cowboys timeout and they will kick. Here is Sly. He comes out, 95% field goal rate. The only miss was from 62. This is from 48. And the Giants have a 31 point second quarter. 38-14 with 146 on the clock. Uh, Cowboys take back over. Second and 10. And underneath it's Baskerville, turns the corner and out of bounds at the 38. He was hit late, but no flag. Hurry to the line on the third and four. Pressure by Thomas, dropped by Elliott. Cow uh, Cowboys punt it right back. The Giants take over with a chance to go up more. First down and 10. Four man rush, Jonathan steps up and he is dropped again by Lambert. Second half sack of the day. Now one, one total sack in two playoff games as we'll take it to halftime as the Giants have a 38-14 lead and the defense has only given up seven points and you can see the yardage differential there is eye-opening how I mean, dominating this game is. Take a look at the Cowboys' first half tendencies powered by next-gen stats. Threw it short 41% of the time, only a 64% completion percentage it's a mixture of drops and inaccurate passes for the Giants in the first half. They ran it inside almost half the time, and guess what? 6.1 yards per attempt. It's been that kind of night for the Cowboys. As the Giants, guess what? Get the ball too. Let's do the second half now. As the uh, Payne takes it out of the end zone. Across the 20 into the 23. Here you look at the first half drives a lot of them. As the Giants really didn't have time of possession. They... Scored in a hurry. You can see the five touchdown drives and the field goal drive to end it. Only one drive over three minutes. It was the only drive over five plays. They had a couple five players, but nothing over five. As Jonathan will keep on the first play and pick up six. So it's third and one on the opening drive of the second half. And fake it. Jonathan on the roll. That's his man, it's Bellinger. Gets a block by McClure and a stiff arm on Parsons to the 49. Jonathan now over 300 yards. Second down and five. And a give to Barkley. In the rear Barkley highlight, he picks up four. So it's third and two. On this opening drive of the second half, a give to Barkley's met and drops. That was Dante Fowler Jr. They're gonna go for it on fourth and three. Out of field goal range, don't really want to punt. Jonathan will throw for it. Middle, sliding grab by Downing. He gets the first. He didn't have the first, but he wasn't touched in time. Second down and 10. And a keeper for Jonathan. Gets a block. Another block cuts it back. He might have had a touchdown if he didn't. Down to the 23. Closing in on 100 yards on the ground. Entering minute six of this possession. A keeper for Jonathan on the outside. Inside the t uh, 15 and down to the 10. First and goal. At the 10 yard line. And to give to Barkley up the middle. Met and has about three. Second and goal at the seven. And 
And two tight ends that go to Barkley up the middle. Parker tackles him at the four. This is a drive that's taking half the quarter, third and goal. From the four yard line. In the gun, they go. Barkley cuts it back. Met by Vander Esch. Down to the three. And they will go for it. Minute eight of the possession on fourth and goal. Blitz is picked up. Middle. Oh, McLaurin and Downing run into each other. It's incomplete. So some pass interference on both sides. And look at this first half drive chart. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. Seven punts and an interception. They had the one touchdown drive that was driven by the huge play by Baskerville. But Walker has been very busy today. Cowboys will start at the three after the turnover on downs. And go to Zeke, who is met and falls forward for one. Third and five. They're at the seven. They need the 13. Set the screen. Zeke tripped up and nowhere to go. Make it eight punts on the day. Here is Walker from his own end zone. Giants try to set up the return. Boss from the 48s. Get across midfield, cuts it back and tackled by, I believe, Gilman at the 44. Now the second and four at the 39 as the Giants take back over and he gave to Barkley, cuts it back and has the first down to the 31. The gain of eights. You see under four carry for Barkley. So an update by him. Second down and 10. Give to Barkley. Big gain inside the uh, 25 and under the 21. Another first down. The Giants starting to move the ball. We're reaching the end of the third quarter, and this is the second possession. Jonathan has it inside the 10. We'll slide down, play it safe. Of course, the fumble is an issue. First and goal at the seven yard line. Jonathan will throw. Middle caught. Bernie is short. Downing almost had his first career postseason touchdown. Second and goal. Barkley middle. Touchdown, New York. And they've broken 40. His fifth or sixth two touchdown game of the season. And that makes it a 31 point game here in the third quarter. As the kick is up and good. So the Cowboys are gonna take back over at the 25. First down and 10. Eight punts so far. Outside Baskerville. Breaks a tackle of Boss, Amari Baskerville, the lone bright spot of this Cowboys offense. First down at the 39 and a flag. So Jermaine Effetti jumps. He had the holding call earlier and now a false start so he's worth two penalties for 15 yards. Second down and 15. Two tight ends, and they go to Zeke. And he shoves Jackson to the turf. Elliott out of bounds, and that is what you're worried of. All those broken tackles, now a third and 10. Final play of the third quarter. And an all black Thibodeau, down goes Prescott. Four on the day, that ties a season high. He had four week 12 against Washington. And now fourth and 17 as the fourth quarter begins, the Cowboys have to go for it. Blix is picked up by Zeke. Deep shot out of bounds. Parker was overshot. And the Cowboys turn it over on downs. So we'll see how many more drives the Cowboys offense get, or the oh the starters get. As that is Bellinger. On third down, he is short and they will go for it. Worth of one out of field goal range, no reason not to. Just try to burn some clock. At the end of it. Four-man rush. Nothing on the run. And he gets away. Gets a block by Downing. Gets the edge. Gets the final block and in for the touchdown. 41 yards. Second of the day is fifth two rushing touchdown game of the year. And the Giants break 50 here in the fourth quarter. And that might do it for the starters. 41 yards on fourth in the yard. Sly makes it 52-14. Nice four play drive. As the Cowboys take over, now in a massive hole. Down 38. Pass is caught by Schultz. And he has the first. Gain at 12. Cowboys are being outgained nearly 3 to 1. Prescott has time. It's running out. And he loses it again. And it's still on the ground. And Thibodeau picks it up. Thibodeau has a second. 
forced fumble. That's his first time in his career he's done that. And the Giants get it right back. So first down of the 23 as Bryce Perkins and the backups come in. The only two starters back in as Brightwell picks up a yard. The only two starters, Andrew Thomas and Evan Neal. No backups for those positions. Third down and four. Four-man rush. Perkins misses love and completes. Sly on, or sly on for the kick. And he shakes it. No good. So the score remains 52-14. Cowboys take back over at the 24 after the missed 34-yarder. Upstairs it is grabbed and Parker the 32. Prescott closing in on 200. And on the second and two. This is caught by Schultz in another first. Third and 10 has not been too kind for the Cowboys. As they will shift to make it a less compressed set. Cowboys show blitz and they send it. An unblocked defender that is caught. Schultz is short. And they will go for it on fourth down. The Giants show blitz again. Trying to get the Cowboys off the field again. Four man rush. Prescott is protected. He is hit late and throws it away. So 848 left in the Cowboys season. The Giants will host the Vikings in the conference championship next week. As Perkins on third down is hit by Osa and completes. Mark McKeithen got the backup center got flattened. This time Sly delivers the kick is up and good. 55 14. So it's a 41 point game halfway into this fourth quarter and the Cowboys look for some pride. As Prescott delivers on time, that is Parker, gain of 15. Prescott now over 200 yards passing here in the fourth quarter. Prescott set up the screen, it's intercepted. Lamar Watford, his first career pick, the former seventh rounder, sets up the Giants offense with a chance to add on. See if they can push 60. Closing in on 600 yards. Keeper for Perkins, and Perkins gets the edge. And tackled by Parker at the 10. Gain to 22. First and goal, final six minutes of this laugher. They give to Brightwell up the middle, he's met and tackled. Second and goal. Under five to play. And Perkins is met and dropped with a gain of one. Reach the four-minute mark. Third and goal in the pistol. Four-man rush. Pressure by Lambert, and that's intercepted. Picked off by Carlos Parker, who had a career-high three interceptions in the regular season. He had two his rookie year. Cowboys take over. Third down and four. They have not converted on third down all game. Eight punts today is a season high for the Cowboys, and it's not including the turnover on downs. There's the first down. Another third down on the way. As Prescott. Middle caught. Parker. Down to the 44. We've reached the two-minute warning. Here in New York. 44-yard line. First down. Blitz is picked up. And wide open is Schultz. Turns up field. Still going down to the 32. Hurries to the line. Wide open, Leonard Beecham out of bounds at the 19. Back in the red zone. Second red zone trip of the day. The Giants did not give up a single red zone drive in their last game against the Falcons. They're down in four. That pass is dropped by Schultz. So over the last two games, three total red zone trips. One touchdown given up. Lutz is up and good. That's your scoring for the day. The Giants win it and head to well, home to face... The Minnesota Vikings as they demolish the Dallas Cowboys for the third time. So a little bit of a scare early in this game. Of course, we were down 7-0 after the pick six. The offense struggled to get it going. Then an offensive explosion. 31 points second quarter really propelled us. And then the defense was incredible. More than a 2-1 to ratio in yardage. I mean, in the end there, most of the yards were against the backups. They had like less than 200 yards entering the fourth quarter. You saw it with Prescott. I mean, 
It was incredible. The defense has really turned it on. I know they gave up a lot of yards to the um, Atlanta Falcons, but we don't have to face them anymore. And the defense did their job. Third, three and um, third downs, three for twelve was really bad. Uh, there were some fourth down conversions, but overall, the offense struggled on third down. But this is a really good pass rush with Parsons and uh, Lawrence, and you really want to attack them early. You know, with our heavy sets. The Cowboys and the Sim use Parsons as an off-ball linebacker, so that's one less X-Factor edge you have to worry about. So you get in these third-down situations where Parsons is at edge, and you're really just done, and you see it because Parsons leads the league, or his top three in the league every year in sacks. I know he won Defensive Player of the Year, or it was Trayvon Diggs. I don't remember which one it was, but he was up there in sacks this year. I know it was Josh Sweat, but he was second for a lot of the year. So, I mean, it's a tough team to play him on offense on third downs and luckily we avoided it you can see we ran away with time of possession in the end of course we hit like own this uh, third quarter but overall terry mclaurin seven catches for three touchdowns Thibodeau five sacks jonathan three touchdowns two on the ground Dak prescott two interceptions baskerville um 108 yards in the score and then bob lambert the rookie three tackles for loss in the sack the cowboys really didn't have a lot going for them the defense was bad and the offense was worse so with that, we have upgrades. We have six, Jonathan up to a 93, Thibodeau up to a 93, Sly up to a 75 despite missing one in pain, up to a 71, Rodarius Williams up to a 66, and Bryce Perkins up to a pristine 53 overall. And now for the rest of the games. We'll start in uh, Pittsburgh as the Bills play the Steelers. We'll start with Devin Singletary, a three-yard score, and the Bills strike first. It's 7-0 on the opening drive. Later in the first quarter, Josh Allen on a third and nine finds Quez Watkins up the seams for a 21-yard touchdown on the former Eagles, put the Bills up 14. Take it to the second quarter. Next drive for the Steelers, Baker Mayfield trying to get the Steelers back in the game. Deontay Johnson with a 17-yard score, now 14-7. Next drive for the Bills. They get in the red zone and give it to Devin Singletary. And Singletary has a second touchdown. It's now 21-7. Next drive for the Bills, first and goal. Allen finds Stefan Diggs, who's having an incredible playoff run. It's now 28-7. Next drive for the Steelers. Baker Mayfield goes deep and finds Chase Claypool for the touchdown over 20. 34 yards, now 28-14 to the two-minute drill. Next drive for the Bills. Third and goal. Allen finds Diggs for his second touchdown. 35-14, but the Steelers turn it over, and the Bills get another red zone chance here, and they make a pay. Quez Watkins, his second touchdown, 42-14 and a half. Now we'll go to the third quarter, first drive of it. Josh Allen goes deep with a flag, and that is Stefan Diggs over the top, and Diggs takes it for the 56-yard touchdown. The flag was on Pittsburgh, 49-14. Next drive for the Steelers. Baker Mayfield. Finds Claypool for three yards. We're now 49-21. And it's stay that way to the end of the game where the Bills running out the clock. Give it to Devin Singletary on third and goal. He fights his way in. One yard score. Bills win at 56-21. Now to Minnesota. We'll start with Justin Herbert in the second quarter. Drake London, a one yard score. Falcons lead by seven. Next drive for the Falcons. Justin Herberts. Finds Kadarius Tony on a third and 17 for 23 yards. It's now a 10-0 lead at the half. We'll take an opening drive third quarter. Teddy Bridgewater with a deep drop and a deep throw. Justin Jefferson makes the great grab. 51 yards, 10-3 lead for Atlanta. Next drive for the Falcons. And Justin Herbert. Does a 360 and does the classic Madden CPU pick, and that's going to be a pick six. William Jackson, the third up the sideline, will jog in. 57 yard return. This game is tied at 10. Next drive for Minnesota. Teddy Bridgewater with a fade. He goes deep and finds a wide open Waller who makes the toe tap grab. 30 yard score. Minnesota in front. They've scored 17 unanswered. And you know what? 17 unanswered isn't good enough. Another play action for Bridgewater on their next drive. And Jefferson wide open, 27-yard score. 24 unanswered points for the Vikings. They lead by 14. Say that way to the fourth quarter. Justin Herbert gets the Falcons back in the game. A three-yard score for Brian Edwards. It's now 24-17. And they're going to have a shot. One last drive for Atlanta. Justin Herbert's for the tie is picked by Patrick Queen. 
And with that interception, we will face the Minnesota Vikings as we've mentioned before. Now to Kansas City for the third and final game. As we'll start with Tyreek Hill on the flip. He breaks away from one and picks up 10. The Dolphins in the first quarter lead by three. Later in the first quarter, as Paul Stover finds Mike Gesicki, who doesn't break one or two, but three tackles, 11 yards, is a 6-0 lead. We take it to the end of the first quarter. Chiefs have the ball. Patrick Mahomes finds Travis Kelsey for 20, or 19 yards. 6-3 lead for the Dolphins. Take it next drive for the Chiefs on the goal line now. Patrick Mahomes on first and goal finds Travis Kelsey for the three-yard score. It's now a 10-6 lead for Kansas City. They'll say that way to the end of the second quarter. Dolphins trying to mount a two-minute drive. Paul Stover finds a wide-open Cedric Wilson, who probably should have had a lot more on that play. 29 yards, 10-9 lead at half. We take an opening drive of the third quarter. Patrick Mahomes on a third and four. Does a throw only Patrick Mahomes can make. Curtis Samuel on the sideline, 24 yards, 13-9 lead. But right after the field goal was made, they have to kick it off to Cedric Wilson. Right a big play, 10 the half. That led to a field goal. This time a big play on the kickoff. And that's going to lead to six as Justin Reed tries his best, but he can't quite get to him. It's a 97-yard kick return touchdown. Dolphins now lead by three. It's 16-13. Next drive for the Dolphins. Play action. Paul Stover, the old Peyton Manning play action play on the goal line. One yard rushing score, 23-13. Take it to the fourth quarter, and this could be the final dagger. Paul Stover to Mike Gesicki, eight yard score, 30-13 to in the fourth. He'll stay that way until late in the fourth quarter. As a flip to Sky Moore, that's a receiving touchdown for Moore, 30-20 to here in the fourth quarter, and take it to the end of it. Patrick Mahomes in the final 20 seconds finds Albert O and Albert O takes it for a 27 yard touchdown. Dolphins win it 30 to 27 after they recover the onside. So the stage is set in the AFC Conference Championship. We will face the four seed Minnesota Vikings, who are 8 and 9. And the three seed Bills will host the five seed Dolphins. So you see all the scores here. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time when we face. The Minnesota Vikings in the NFC Conference Championship game.